We're going to be painting a painting of Mars. All right, so the question of the day is, what is the BFR? Let's run through the color. Mars black, titanium white, pearly red dark, moon red, Van Dyke brown, burn umber, red oxide, Indian yellow, primary yellow, phthalo green, moon blue, ultramarine blue. <laughs> For this first layer, we're starting with a lighter blue and then working our way to darker blues and actually a green blue. And so we have that texture and then at the end we've kind of splashed white paint for the stars. And we've left the planet white for now because we're going to keep flecking that <coughs> white for stars until we get the galaxy just right in the background. So we can do the foreground later on so we don't have those white specks all over it. Alright, for this layer what we're doing is we're doing kind of a red glaze on top of this uh, with a little bit of blue, so kind of a purple glaze. I put in some black streaks to kind of push some of the stars further back so you have gaps in the space, so sometimes you see that. And um, yeah, we'll add another layer on top of this and uh, see where it goes from there. a little bit darker on the ends so it's got a, a feeling of space there's little gaps in between we've added in another layer of stars so that's pretty clean um, we have the planets coming through here and we've added two colors basically for the planet the next layer will be kind of tape this in and make it more of a perfect sphere all right for this painting what we're doing is we're going to tape this in and um, get a more rounder shape i think we're going to leave the sky as is for now and we're going to fill in some of the details for mars itself on our first surface we still have some of this blue kind of peeking through so we need to cover that up as well as I'm going to kind of lay a translucence layer on this so that'll get kind of more of these kind of features coming through but not evidently so it has kind of like the sand on top of the surface feel. All right for this layer we've kind of had translucent before now we're going to kind of um, soften some of the features and then darken others we want to kind of cover up that blue and make sure it reads all the way orange there's no blue coming through and then kind of add a little more texture to kind of give it more of a feeling of a planet. top of this to kind of blend this back into that, that area. All right, we're going to add another layer here and then kind of blend this back into that. Big foul 
Falcon rocket. So the Big Falcon rocket is the latest development of SpaceX. It's going to replace all their technology that came before all their previous generations of rockets. And their previous genera generation of rockets were really for kind of satellite launch, get to the space station kind of thing, and the near Earth orbit. This later generation BFR, Big Falcon rocket, is actually going to be able to go interplanetary. So first they're going to test it to develop it to land on the moon, make a moon colony there hopefully, and later hopefully be used as well to transport between either Earth and Mars or Earth, Moon, Mars, and hopefully begin the colonization of Mars, which no one thinks is possible, but I think it's a really cool idea from Elon Musk. So that's scheduled to go next year, guys. All right, we just finished. Let's take a closer look. So it has this really nice uh, variation in the color for the planet. Uh, quite a different, a lot of different accents. I don't know if the colors have blended quite the way they should to make it look like, read like a planet. Um, it is quite challenging because um, you're just, your mind just isn't quite familiar with what Mars look like. They're, all the photos of Mars are really recent. So to do an accurate version of Mars, you really have to study that and there's only really one one or two good photos, you're not really seeing it with your eyes, so you can really capture those colors in your head. Um, you know, it's easier to you know copy from a photo if you're using a photo representation. Once you know the subject yourself in person, like I can do really good, for example, uh, seacoast, because I used to live next to the sea for 10 years, so that makes a huge difference in how well you can preserve the waves and the colors and all that. Um, but I, overall, I think I like it. Hopefully you guys like it. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe below. And I'll see you in the next painting video. Thanks for watching, guys.